you're going into an environment that's completely unforgiving. The temperatures that we're seeing on the spacecraft are not being seen by any other spacecraft ever before. The scariest thing about the sun is the unknown. We see it every day, but we see it from 93 million miles away. This first perihelion we're going into, we have very minimal contact. All we can get is a tone. I'm going to be waiting on the edge of my seat for those beacon tones. The sun-facing side will be exposed in excess of 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to go closer to the sun than any other spacecraft's gone before. We're not going to do that once. We're not going to do it twice. We're going to do that 24 times. And that is terrifying. We really don't know what we're going to find until we get there. In 1958, Gene Parker had an idea that the area around the sun would behave in a certain way. There are two really overarching mysteries that we have always wanted to study. Why is the corona hotter than the surface of the sun? Why is the solar wind continuously accelerated? We are now in what we call our encounter attitude. The TPS is pointed at the sun and we will not leave that attitude until we get back around the backside of the sun. So we keep the thermal shield between the spacecraft body and the sun. We have designed the spacecraft to be able to do the right thing no matter what it sees. You can't do Parker Solar Probe unless you're willing to build an autonomous spacecraft that can take care of itself. You can't build Parker Solar Probe unless you can build a shield that can withstand the thermal environment. You can't do Parker Solar Probe unless you can keep the power generation cool. And all these things contain some level of risk. The sun is a wideband radio source, so any spacecraft is either in front of the sun, behind the sun, or near the sun, you can't talk to it. Parker Solar Probe is designed to transmit four different beacon tones. Beacon tone A is a good tone. The fault management system is reporting that all systems are nominal. The other three tones mean that some type of fault has occurred on board. We will be mostly out of contact with the spacecraft through encounter, so the only thing we will have is those beacon tones. We will be all waiting for the call, APL, APL. I am Parker Solar Pro. I'm doing well and they have surprises for you. The fear and tension and stress is all going to be focused on those last few minutes. This truly is a mission of discovery. I just wanted to share a milestone with you regarding Parker Solar Probe. It just had its closest yet approach to the sun, 15 million miles away from the sun, flying faster than any human-made object, 213,000 miles per hour through material that is 3.6 million degrees Fahrenheit. This is an exciting milestone. We're gonna learn more about the sun than we've ever learned before. We're gonna understand coronal mass ejections and solar flares and it's gonna help us protect Earth, protect our satellites in orbit around the Earth, and ultimately protect our astronauts.